how do you do buckaroos? <laughs> it was a delayed start. I'm having a time this afternoon, boy. I tell you what, I was having trouble getting my camera working. Didn't get the angle work. I was trying to set it up with a backdrop. I finally said, screw it. I just sat down in my easy chair, monkey with my, my, for some reason, my left hand should good to try. Well, I'm probably going to have to break down and have a look at, but anyway, it's working for the moment, so I thought I'd snake this video in. I just did a live video for this uh, Dekeen Tropical IPA, 6%, uh, wow, uh, ale brewed with honey, uh, pineapple juice, and zest, it says on the can. Your website has no information on it, so I don't know the IBUs on it. Other than that, using my Chimay glass, it is very aromatic. I did, well, anyways, uh, I just did a live video for it. Wow. And I was just, just about to finish up the video, and then my back door opened. See, my, my wife was out doing stuff with my daughter today, and I wasn't expecting them back for at least another hour. And then my black back door opened. She never comes in the back door. The back door opened. So I, and I called out, who is that? And nobody answered. So I turned the video off and jumped up. You know, hair was standing up on my arms, and it was just my wife scared to pee out of me. I tell you what. Anyway, so <laughs> I'll be trying to do a video for this. And sometimes things aren't meant to be. I was trying to think, well, maybe I'm not supposed to do a video for this beer, man. Uh, <laughs> I did drink one uh, yesterday with Todd Wren. We kind of did a, a, a hangout there. He's in Indiana. Me here in Springfield, Mo, and I had one to talk to him about it. I did share one with my friends over at Show Me Brewing yesterday right after I picked her up. Uh, so, I, I mean, I have an idea what it's going to taste like, but that I, I ought to get a video on, too. I love Four Hands. Uh, you guys have heard me talk about Four Hands. I've been talking. They uh, they started uh, late in 2011. I think November 2011 is when they started. I first had them in about March of 2012, so I've, I've been on that bandwagon since the very beginning. It does, it does tickle me now, though, when I see I, them in Urban Chest. It does tickle me now when I check other social media. You know, I'm in a lot of beer groups on various social media. When I, when I get on those and I see someone talk about Four Hands or Urban Chestnut for the first time, I say, yeah, I've been talking about them for four years, man. <laughs> I was there at the beginning, man. Uh, this is this is a great beer. Uh, uh, about three weeks ago, I had their um, uh, the Key Lime Contact High. That was just a beautiful summer beer. And last weekend, I was able to, to pick up their uh, Preserve Lemon Goza, and that beer was just beautiful beyond words so but unfortunately when i went to the market this weekend uh, they didn't have any there but they did have this one which they didn't have last weekend so anyways it's six percent i don't know the ibus the nose is very tropical as you're gonna as you might expect obviously a lot of pineapple probably from the hops as well as pineapple juice being in there you do feel some of the honey you're going to get bits of pine you're going to get a, some other citrus i'm getting a whole lot of orange specifically The flavor is where you feel a lot of that honey mixed with that pineapple juice. You feel the pineapple all the way through the beer, but you really feel it the most right in the finish. It does have a slightly tart finish from that pineapple juice, slightly tart, slightly acidic from that pineapple juice. So there you go. It, it's an absolutely fine beer. And I'll try to pre-whisk before we'll talk to you later.